Hello, my name is Steph. If you'd like to come on in, have a daily dose of inspiration and symbolic support. The other day, we dropped some ink on the scroll, and as promised, we are going to flip it for perspective possibilities, scrying for shapes and symbols that may speak to our psyche and psychic senses. We'll add on some tarot or oracle. And where Mr. Ghosty here is, we have Ghost to kick in for any audio additions from the afterlife that may further add to our auric adventures. Overall, please do receive a release freely. If you are new, welcome. If you're a returning, welcome home. I'm so grateful for your time, attention, and awareness, and your presence is powerful. All right, let's go. I'm going to take a moment before I flip it, if you'd like to join me, or you can fast forward through, taking a nice Play. deep breath, closing the eyes, cleansing the palate of perception, release the race and the rush. Activating the abstract mind and ancient awareness to perceive and receive symbolic support in the name and honor of anyone here at any time. Thank you for being my muse and may you meet a message with meaning. Oops, sorry. All right, if you want to take a screenshot, sorry about the lighting. Shadows in the way, shadows and shines. <laughs> uh, personal use only, but feel well to scry for How yourself. Did I die? I'm not sure how you died, love. How did you die? Or did you transition? All right, let's get in here. <laughs> I'm seeing like two fun dragons show each other their tails. Like, look at my tail. Look at my tail. Oh my goodness. <laughs> look how much my tail's grown. This tail of these fun dragons, they're not, I'm not going to say they're not fierce. It's because they're friendly in their interaction with each other. So I'm not seeing their fiercity isn't here. Uh, there's no reason for it. But they are showing each other their tails. Um, and those tails are turning into Mary Poppin umbrellas. Mary Poppin umbrellas. Does she talk to her umbrella? Or maybe the head of the umbrella talks? There's another conversation in here, and this looks like mushroom head conversations. This conversation may be very, very earthly in density. Something, someone or something Brandy. you can connect to. Think about that you're friends with, family, whatever the case is. And it's like you each have pet dragons in the, the mystic realms around you. And they are so friendly. They are so friendly. You're highly connected as well. When I, okay, whatever this connection is, it's highly connected. I don't, I don't know how else to say it. It feels very clear and it feels very clean in all shades of self, soul, self and soul. The spirit's very, very clear as well, but self and soul, which can be like the muckiest I'm hearing, but in this connection, it's very, very clear. And it even leads me up here to these vultures. And while the vultures, vultures might mean something to you, they are like guardian gargoyles, guardian gargoyles in vulture form. They also, there's uh okay birds messages of the mind somewhere up there and, and it's from these this mushroom connection but there's baby birds there's no longer vultures per se they could be it doesn't really matter for me in this moment it's implying that both of these people are receiving messages and it's like babies are being born and now there's something about like cousin energy this isn't cousins in the way maybe it is your cousin but in the physical form to me this is about the connection between these two people i'm sorry if this is more abstract than usual but it is what it is and through your connection more things are born it helps like the birthing process there are oh i don't know what kind of monkeys they are Uh, I don't know what kind of monkeys they are. They have a lot of white in them and they almost like we? have like they're very, very furry faces with white. Maybe they're apes. Maybe it's an ape thing. I think this 
question might be from like many lifetimes over and over and over again. Michael. And also an ape might mean something that I'm not aware of. And please follow that if you if you sense it. I also feel like I can blow off a lot of steam with this friend or this cohort or this confidant. And it's uh, transmuted. It's not held. The space just feels very clearing. It feels very clearing and connecting. I'm, oh, I feel like I'm just repeating the same words over and over and over again. But this is how like I reassuring it just is. I'm just simply trying to express the... Even though there's so much air and openness, I feel very grounded. I feel very grounded. But I, as Steph, am not doing it justice to express the groundedness of it. The, st the stability of it. Oh my goodness. Hilarious. Okay. What do we have here? Card 33. If any of the artistry is standing out to you, please follow that. Give you a moment to take that in and then I will take it in, in just a moment. Frightened. Okay, there's something in and along the lines of actually I have to cover that up because it's probably YouTube won't be like that. So the card 33 might mean something to you and please follow that. See how that whole cave thing, it's all very purple indigo esque. This is that, um, it's almost like Morgan. the solar spirit space. Density is also coming through. Something about condiments. And maybe this that's a really nice way of, of mentioning this connection. You could have a burger or Chakras. anything else you might apply a condiment to. And everyone gets to, we all might have the same burger, but we all get to add different condiments to enjoy that burger in our own way and this is what this connection feels like it's like here we can have burgers together like i like relish i like you know bacon i don't want bacon i want cheese i don't want cheese but this is all celebrated it's actually i feel very happy that you you or they in some way shape or form in different uh archetypal aspects are like condiments to each other so it makes the burger of being together better because it gets to be an individual but still share in this i have no this is i'm probably like butchering 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 but it i don't know it feels uncomfortable it feels delightful and delicious <laughs> absorption 33 adversity the stranger dances her deeper into the stranger dances her deeper into the cavern's swirly waters, devouring empty void. Oh, okay. Absorption is when individual identity is devoured by forces which end it. The point of individual identity is the choice to resist archetypal forces or go with them, <clears throat> excuse me, to an ecstatic but mythical doom. Feeling inadequate, we may want the intensity of identifying with an archetype, sacrificing any ability to fulfill ourselves as conscious human beings. The adversity of being taken over is of the subtlest kind. Guard against it by committing to an integrated act that strengthens your being as you create with superior forces in a balanced way. Your task, should you choose to accept, is to challenge from you? those who ground you in every day. Fascinating. So I feel this whole connection and I feel like this card is talking about it. I'm going to roll around here for a moment. And it, it feels damn delightful and delicious. But then over here, it's like if we have to, you know, claim that the shadow side might be more indicative of of this absorption where you might be noticing because this connection is so 
heightened and delicious. It's like going to your favorite restaurant or having your favorite dish. And the reason why you know that and or get excited for that is because of being around I'm I'm going to try and be very kind here without being insulting because that's not the point. By being around other energies that maybe like just absorbed you in or you absorbed them and it's again I, you know, I'm not going to poo-poo on fast food. I love me some, you know, trash food. However, but it's like suddenly you're like, oh, if I'm going to go for a burger anyway, if I'm going to invest, you know, my budget that I have for that over here. But if I want to, or maybe it's not as fast, that's the point. I don't know. It's quality over quantity. But even still, I've realized, I think when you go back over to where maybe you can absorb a lot more food, it's not even quantity or quality it's it's just there do you know what i'm saying so maybe you have been around and or been a part of accountability in nurturing gluttonous absorbing and then it's kind of like taking them and running off with them or you're, you're, you're left feeling, like I say, if you have a meal and you eat it really, really fast because you're so hungry and then you feel like a bag, bag of crapo afterwards because you're like, oh, that I know I'm going to eat this, but it's not going to sit well. That's what this is like. But it's by that reflection or that experience why I, as staff, feel so confident and comfortable here because it's like those vultures are even up here it's like I could see this audience as keeping an eye out keeping an eye out of energies around you that absorb randomly or maybe in an entitled way or they ask when you interact with them to lower your quality standards hmm And how do you, and if you identify at all with any of them, oh. this is a big mastery moment because it's like doing something on an empty stomach, fasting. It's like fasting from certain frequencies. And this is why this feels so good to me. You are annoying. Stop. Stop. And this feels exhausting. I know this energy. I And I don't want to insult it, but I also don't want to be a part of it. Seven of Wands. And I break free from it. I break free. Page of Cups. If these cards mean anything to you, please follow that first. High Priestess. Rope. Yeah, because you are kind of roped off now. Through whatever the bars may be of restriction. Or having to restrict oneself from absorbing or devouring. I'll use those words in there, thank you. From your usual buffet of energies. I feel like in how this is going, you're choosing new restaurants or the anxiety of finding a new restaurant that's being very indicative or reflective, at least symbolically speaking, of different people around you. And you're like, you know what? I might be nervous to go and try this new restaurant. I don't know what I'm going to like. I don't know what their menu is. I don't know what they'll allow me to do if I can change things out or not. And I'm very contemplative and it's like, but you know what? Show yourself. I know this is better for me to try out these new places because that's how I will find more quality, which brings quantity into quality and quality in your quantity of people, energies, elements around you. And then it's like coming out from behind the curtain of like, hi, I'd like to try, you know, this on the menu. <laughs> And lo and behold, it's like, yeah, no problem. 
Yeah, no problem. The anxieties are eased. Nutrient absorption. King of Cups and the Lovers is coming through. There's a passageway through this. This mastery of, of sorts. It's like mastering the biodome that I as Steph might put in the belly. Is it like your gut? Your gut oh, health? Nice. But then it's also the microbiome of the mind. The brain. And how those two are talking to each other. And inevitably feeding each other. I want to come back to the scroll for a moment. Because this is how I feel with this lover's card and this original connection of the scroll. I feel quite lovely here. I feel quite lovely trusting. And that bird is in a top hat. I think you might be dining on and devouring like open fancy frequencies. You know what I mean? Like fancy dining. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Fine dining of frequencies. And it may have been a big old journey for me to get here, but I hope that it did support and validate that you are. It's not it's not being a picky either or fussy. There is class here. There is class. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. I'm not going to try and have it fall out of my face because right now I feel like I, I want to speak, but I have food in my mouth. And if I start talking like it's, or I've been trying to talk with my mouth full. But this has been enjoyable. This feels really, really nice. I'm not even going to keep trying. It's beautiful. I will see Scorpio. you again soon. Thank you so, so much for being you. Until next time. the deck oh the foo the foo oh my goodness something about rice is coming through as well I don't know something about rice hmm.